Hello my friends, I have a very short and hopefully very helpful video for all you Cubase users wondering why your drive C is being flooded with gigas and gigas of Cubase related files. And I'm not talking about the program files of Cubase, which kind of belong on drive C like the OS and other program files. I'm talking about the libraries which can be really large. I'm talking about, for example, the Verve instrument alone is more than eight gigabyte large. And we don't want to have that on our drive C. But the problem is that drive C is the standard location where everything gets installed by the Steinberg download assistant. Don't ask me why it kind of automatically puts everything on drive C, no matter what. And I found out the hard way last week when I've upgraded to Cubase 13 and saw how my drive C was getting smaller and smaller. But that's totally my fault because you know, you don't upgrade and, and manage your files every day. So I have just forgotten <laughs> how easy it actually is to move Cubase libraries from one drive to another drive. Just don't try to do it manually. Better use the Steinberg Library Manager. You can find it over the search function here in Windows. For example, I have my Library Manager already open. And here you can click through all sorts of libraries like Instruments, Groove Agent. We will check out this section here. And uh, these are the very big sample packs. But the first thing I want to show you is uh, this little button here. Open the options. And here is something very interesting. You can set up the library default location. And I had totally forgotten that when I've upgraded to Cubase 13. So set this up to make sure that in the future, all instruments and all new sample packs you download from Steinberg are going to the right location and never on drive C again. <laughs> okay, I still have some sample packs on my drive C. I don't want that. I want to move them to another place, to another disk. And for example, the analog techno pack here, let's check it out. Click on details. You see it's more than 800 MB big quite large and it's still installed on my drive C. The same for the Blockbuster sample pack. It's even bigger, one and a half giga and also installed on C. Let's change that. Just click on move. This window will pop up with a new location we set up here, sample packs and Steinberg. And I want to have everything well sorted, so I create a new folder. You don't need to do that. It's just my thing here. Analog uh, Techno. Oops. And that's all. You see? It moves the file. It takes a while and now here is the new location. Now I want to repeat this process with the Blockbuster pack here, but there is also a way where you can move many files at once by just checking here the checkboxes, you see? And uh, I don't want to do that because I want to create a an, an folder for, you know, a separate folder for every pack. And again, you don't need to do that. Well, as you can see, it worked as well. And you could also see a little warning that appeared up here. It said that you don't want to run Cubase while you're moving the files. It's kind of obvious. Please close the program before you move the files with the library manager. Of course, we need to check out if everything is working properly in Cubase and if Cubase is able to find the libraries we just moved. For that, we go to media here in the right area. Okay, media and in our case it was loops and samples. Here is the analog techno pack we just moved. I open it and just play one sound. I don't know what it is, but it sounds nice. Yes, it's working. Let's also see if Blockbuster is still there. Yes. So it's very easy to move big library files from one drive to another if you only remember that Cubase comes with a library manager. Please don't forget to leave a like before you go. Also, a silly comment would be very nice. And subscribe to the channel, which is the ground noise, by the way. My name is Markus and I hope to see you soon in the next one.